Our next Ladies Home Journal Dazzle Award winner is as talented as she is dazzling. Would you welcome one of Charlie's Angels, Farrah Fawcett Major. <laughs> Look at you, Isn't Farrah. Isn't it great? And doesn't her hair look pretty? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. I think I'll interview her hair today. Now, they said I could take this off when I get out. Should but I don't know if I want to. Well, if you don't want to. <laughs> Maybe I'll sit, sit in it. Let me describe it. Farrah's wearing a golden sable wraparound by Grosvenor, oh. valued at twenty-five thousand. They told me you were giving it to me for being well, on the uh, show. Of course. Well, I have one for you, but it's the terry cloth one. And it's, it's $25. Under it, she's wearing Adolfo's evening tunic. Poor guy, what's he wearing tonight? Adolfo's evening tunic of shimmering Arnell crepe du chêne. $695. Yes. You are a very expensive... Expensive guest today. Lovely as always, and you're a hit, aren't you, Farrah? Oh, yeah, I think so. Aren't you excited? <laughs> that show That's is a good. smash. And good, well done. Uh, yes, a little neat, you know, there's a little room for improvement. Oh, but, but you're never supposed to say that. Oh, well, I think it's very good. It's just that... <laughs> <laughs> No, it is. But it's anything good. can be better. Yeah, I think it's that way. When you go home and maybe you watch the show, you think, gee, I could have been a little better. Maybe something could have been a little better and that's good because it shows that you care and you want it to be better and maybe it will be <laughs> is it what you've wanted to do all your life act N no what you didn't want to no, do no not when i was a little girl only when i came out here you know eight years ago and kind of got into it but i never thought about it much before but now i'm in it and i love it have you seen have you seen another job in life that's appealing to you well i majored in art in history um, <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I to take a pick? <laughs> <laughs> I majored in art history in college. Uh -huh. And um, so that's what I kind of saw myself doing. And I sculpt and I paint. But now that I'm in this, there's no time for anything else. And, and I'm glad. Yeah, but you should it's make nice. time, though, for uh, uh, something away from it all. Do you know that Otherwise I, it can consume you, you know. When they picked me up to come here, right. I rushed off the set, just rushing like crazy, to, taking clothes off as I was running out of the dressing room. And got there the little man said I'm to take you over and I said oh good so I got in the back and I thought well I'll think of what I'm gonna and the next thing I knew we were here I went completely to sleep that's how exhausted you are I mean there's very little time for anything else as much as you try to make time and say well I'm gonna go home and cook a great dinner for Lee or right. I'm gonna do this I kind of just <laughs> cook your <laughs> own Lee <laughs> cook your own yeah. turn on your burner <laughs> right and I'm glad the show's a hit because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm allowed those little things yeah. now. Is it tough, though, on a marriage? Well, fortunately, he works as hard as I do, so he's as tired, and he understands because he's in the business. So. But when that door opens at night, do you both just look at each other and go... <clears throat> <laughs> well, we hug and we kiss first, and so it's okay. And But you must have weekends. Do you get a day off? No, I haven't had one. You're kidding, yeah, no, Farrah. Since the show started. Oh. That, that's what makes it so difficult. We're ready for our hiatus next week. And I can tell everybody on the show's ready for it. You and know, what are you going to do on your hiatus? I have to shoot some commercials. Oh. <laughs> it's the What's the temperament like on that uh, soundstage? I mean, mm. three magnificent-looking girls, all, I'm sure, quite aware of fashion mm -hmm. and uh, hair and makeup. Well... Lots being written, you know. Uh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. You mean about... The about uh, production being held up while you're trying oh, to decide which know, girl's yes, going to wear this? Yes, Time Magazine was there doing yeah. uh, a story on us. And, and everybody, they keep wanting to get shots of us with a mirror and us with a brush. I, I think that probably we don't... We do like any female actress does. I mean... Makeup and hair people make you more aware of it because they're always saying, no, no, there's a hair out of place. No, 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 do this, do that. You know, personally, I'd, I have lines to think of. I'd rather not be touched before the shot, but they get very aware of that, or if in the dailies they see a hair across your face. So they tend to make you more aware of it. But I don't... Working on the show, to me, is great with the other girls because it's, 
It takes me back to like when I had roommates in college. Where's my brush? You're using my brush. Where's the? You have on. The, I'm wearing this in this. Mm. Well, you know, it's it's fun. I mean, there's no hostility, but it's it's like anything. I'm sure that you know when I had roommates that I loved very much. There's always something about somebody that you think, oh, why does she insist upon doing that? Or they think, why does she insist upon? I mean, Kate is so cute. She calls me teeth and hair and and, and <laughs> don't don't put the camera on her teeth when I'm on the. You know, I mean, there are jokes like that, but. But it's great. It's a nice rapport, and it, and it, I think, makes the tensions a little less because you get so burdened down at the end of the day with lines and dialogue and do the scene. It, it's it's fun to have some. So I, I just resent Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he just doesn't dare show his face. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I came out and started in commercials and and worked and went under contract to a studio. Had no formal training. I think what I'm doing right now, I consider my formal training. I mean, what I've learned in 13 shows is, is so tremendous. I yeah. thought I couldn't study and learn this much. It's like anything. You watch the cameraman, you learn angles, you watch the light man. You, I've learned things about the camera. It, it's really interesting. And while you're saying dialogue and doing that, you're still learning and taking it all in. I, I know so much more now. So I think that's been my formal Was there training. one thing you've done prior to Charlie's Angels that gave the greatest impetus to your career? Was there one commercial that brought you to the oh. attention of everybody? Or was there one cover of a magazine? Or was it a, a culmination think, of everything you've done? This is what I think, which, which is not always right. You know, my, my agent probably thinks something different. But it all kind of happened where people started focusing on me kind of all at once. You know, there, I did Ultra Bright, and for a while there was the big thing with the teeth. Right. And people they say, who is that? Oh, you're kind of that. Then all of a sudden when I did Wella and the hair became such a big thing, people started putting it all together. Then when I came out with another commercial or cover, people really started knowing my name and then it just kind of happened. So I wouldn't say one thing. I would just say in a span a of maybe about four months, it just all clicked. That's know? why they call you hair I was and in teeth. the right place at the right time, <laughs> they say. That's what it all is, yeah. too.